Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and today we're going to make a, a leaf, garnet leaf necklace, and it's got a ruby um, accent bead. Now, I've made two here already, and I'm just showing you this because there's a difference in the amount of um, the space of twists that you put in between each bead. It's all related to just uh, how many twists you do. About here I have about a half inch of, of a twist in between and here is like probably about a quarter of an inch. So it's just two different uh, looks and you sort of can decide what you want to do. Um, I will probably go somewhere in, in the middle for the uh, tutorial today. So I'm working with two lengths of 26 gauge wire. Uh, they're about two feet each um, and I've got them lined up so they're side by side. Try and find the center of your wires. So once you find the center of your wires, okay, so you're just going to take your, all we're going to do is a wrap loop in the center. So just take your round nose pliers and then just kind of twist them around, okay? So you'll have just a loop like that and if you notice it's two wires. Okay, now just take one set of the wires, it doesn't matter which side, and then just wrap it a few times, maybe just once or twice. Not so then you're going to be left with just a plain wrap loop in the center, and that will be the center of your necklace. That's where the briolet will be hanging. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm just going to separate those two wires. What I like to do is I like to lay it down in front of me like that, so that I'm I'm always aware of which side I'm working on. Okay. So the first Thing we're going to do is just take one of these, these are about 7.5, 7 by 5 millimeter garnet flat beads and they're a little faceted too. So I'm just going to slide one of those beads on and uh, always check your beads against your wire. That's really important because there's nothing worse than wire that doesn't fit through beads. Alright, so I'm just going to slide one right on like that. Okay, I'm working on one side with two wires and then the other side, the two wires are off to the side. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that wire that I have it on and just hold that bead in place and then take your wire and bring it right over the top. Okay, so instead of don't go under, go on top like that. Okay, in relation to your loop. Now just take it and wrap it around that same wire that you're working on, maybe one or two times. Okay, and that's just going to secure it. Now make sure that it's still lined up with your bead. You don't want to get it too tight. And sorry for my thumb being there, but I need to hold that bead. Okay, so now this is what I have so far. So now that that bead's on, I'm just going to take those two wires, the same two wires that I was working with, leaving the other two on the other side, and I'm just going to twist them like maybe two or three times. Okay. Just to, and I'll show you that in a minute. So just twist them about two or three times. All right, and this is what you'll have so far. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to pull one wire out. So I'm just going to put one more bead on, and bring it right down like that, and do the exact same thing. I'm just going to take my wire, hold my bead and then take my wire and then just bring it right I'll just show you that so right around like that Let's see and then just wrap it around that same wire that you're working on okay now that that's done Make sure this wire is on the outside because sometimes it will slip over your bead and you don't want that. You just want it to be on the outside. So now take your pliers and those same two wires. Uh, now remember working on the, this side now. So to take those same two wires and we're going to do a couple twists the same way. So just twist them about two or three times. Same thing. Okay. Now what we're going to do is. Now that we have them twisted, so they're kind of keeping their own little bundles, all right? Now we're just going to cross them over, cross these wires over like this, right in the center, okay? So now I have them crossed over like that, and then I'm just going to, you can use your pliers or your fingers, whichever you want, and I'm just going to twist it about, about three or four times, which I just did. 
So now I have this. Now we're gonna start to work on one side only of this necklace, okay? Because this is our base. So now we're just gonna start to work. Now, start out with the, the outside wire, okay? So this is my outside, this is my inside. Um, start out with the outside wire and you're going to keep switching it back and forth and you'll know when, when, I, um, when you see it what you're supposed to be, um, which way you're supposed to be wrapping it, which wire you're supposed to be using. Um, just to make your vine grow. So I just put it back on like that and I'm going to just take my exact same thing, just going to take that wire right down and make sure it's right around the edge and then just bring it around that bottom same wire we're working on. Okay, all right, and then bring that wire up, bring those together, and then I'm just going to decide, now you could use a half inch, you could, like I showed you, you could use a half inch, quarter inch, whatever, I'm just going to go sort of, I'll, I'll, I'll just gauge how much I want to do, but I'm just going to twist a little bit and just eyeball it where I want to go. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that wherever you decide, whatever length you decide to make, make sure that that's your consistent length, okay? So right there, that's probably a little less than half an inch, but that's what I'm going to go with, okay? So now I'm going to separate those wires again. Now just looking at this, it would not make sense for you to put a, a, a bead here because then that would, would not grow, like a vine doesn't grow like that, right? It would make more sense to put it here. So that's where I'm going to put it. And you're just going to keep doing this same technique until you've used all the beads that you want to use. So back to the same thing. Okay, and you can see it's starting to form. Now I'm only working on one side, so of course it's going to be lopsided until I get to the other side. And then just bring your wire down, like that. Okay, and then just bring it right over. And I'm, I know that I'm always covering it with my finger, but it's the only way to keep it in place, so I do apologize for that. So just one more, just two twists is all you really need to do. And if you noticed, this wire sort of slipped forward, so just take your fingernail and just move it back if it does that. And then I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm just going to remember that I want to keep it this length and just do the same kind of a twist, okay? I'll do a few more just so you can see, and then I will come back and uh, show you how to, to attach the chain to the... Uh, now don't go too crazy with the twist here because it will work hard in your wire and it could very well end up snapping it and that's the last thing you want to happen, okay? So I've sort of worked on that and let's see, it's about the same. So now, again, pull your wires open. Actually, maybe I need one more twist. There. So now pull your wires open and again, it just shows you how would a vine grow. It should be that rather than it wouldn't be on the same side, right? So then just slide another bead on. And down we go, right over the top. And right on that same wire. Just make sure it's on the top and not over it. And one, two. And back up and then we're just going to start to wrap again. I'll just start with my fingers and then finish with the pliers. Same length pretty much, that's all it is. It's really just repeating the same step over and again until you used all your 10 beads. And you can always adjust this later. This is just basically making the necklace, so no worries there. You can always come back and start to um, make it more vine-like. Okay, so I'll do one more. Bring your, let's do one more twist. Bring your wires apart again. And then this would make sense for this, for it to be the other side, the opposite side. So I'll just slide one more bead on. Okay, right down, right over the top, like that. And then one, two, and then you're going to do your wrap again, okay? So I'm going to do a few more and I will come back and show you how to um, add the chain to it.
So I'm using 10 beads on this side, like I said. Um, you will notice that you probably will end up with one wire longer than the other. In that case, just make sure that the, the longer wire is, is available for your last bead, which I'm doing. So if that means you just twist it so that longer wire is available. So just slide that last bead on. Do exactly the same thing, right down. And then just right around the, um, the base. Alright, a couple times. And then you're going to have, again, you can see there's one wire that's longer than the other. And that's okay because what I'm going to do now is just do a wrapped loop. And I don't really want care about that shorter wire anyways. I can, I can actually just tuck it up. I'll just trim it back a little bit. And then just make a wrapped loop with the other one. So just a standard wrapped loop. Just 90 degree angle. And right around like a circle. Okay. And I will wrap around those two wires, but uh, before I do that, I'm just going to slide my chain on. Okay, so slide your chain onto your wrap loop. I mean, you can use between about 11 and 12 inches of um, chain or more or less. It really depends upon how long you want the necklace. And you just have to measure this part and then you'll know how long you want, to, you want your uh, chain to be. So now I'm just going to finish that wrap loop, just wrapping a few times around. And then just make sure there's no stray wires, push it in, and then that would be the one side done. Okay, and what I can do is just twist those last two wires together, just to make it a little tidier. Alright. Now that side's done, and then I'm going to go to the other side. And again, I'm just going to lay it out exactly the same way so that I know exactly how I'm working. So if you notice, I have the circle the same way, and then just start exactly the same way. And I will put one bead on. And I'm not going to do a lot here because I've already showed you. I just want you to see the other side, how it starts to come together. So just slide one more bead on. Same thing. Push it right in, like that. And then just right around the base. The hardest part is just trying to get those wires to sort of slide in between so it doesn't get caught. All right, now take your two wires and then twist it together and you're going to keep the same length as you did on the other side. I mean, you can adjust the length if you're if you're fine with the lengths being different, that's perfectly fine. And you maybe it'll be more a little organic looking. Um, so it's really what you want to do and if you want to use a ruler and just measure each individual length so it's exactly perfect, you can do that. It's really whatever you want to do. Separate those wires and I'm just going to move that to the other side and I can do that just to make sure that it's uh, a little bit better and then that would make me using to use this line. That's a good thing about these, you can actually twist them a little bit to different places so if you don't like the look of how many you have on one side you can just sort of shift it a little bit which is what exactly what I did. But not too much twisting, just a little bit. Okay, so same thing. And then grab those two wires together. I'll show you that in a minute, what it looks like. So this is what we would have so far. Again, like I said, you can always adjust it later on to, to uh, suit your purposes. Okay, and I would separate those wires again. And maybe that's a bit short, so I'll just do one more twist. Separate your wires again. And add another garnet bead. And then you would do the exact same thing right down base wire. 
And I will have extra pictures at the end of the tutorial, so you, um, if you need more help with that. And also, I will put a link in for um, wrap loops, so that if you need more help with wrap loops, you can have that as well. All right, so I'll just do a couple of wraps there, and then we're going to wrap it again. All right, and so this is, you can see it starting to come together. Okay, and I will come back and finish it for you. Just, so now I'm just going to attach the other part of the chain on the, on the um, thing. So I'm just going to twist a few times. Same thing, just do the loop. I already have it at the 90 degree angle. And then just take the other side of the chain. I like to work with my chain in one piece. Um, you don't actually have to do that. You can have it cut ahead of time. Um, I just like to cut it after I've done my work. So I'm just going to close that loop up. Just wrap it around. And uh, Come back any stray wires. Make sure there's nothing sharp sticking out. And then what I'm going to do now is my chain's a bit short, and that's just because that's all I had. You would use a, a longer chain. So just eyeball the center, or if you want to measure, you can. And just what I do is just cut it. Just do a regular loop like that. And then just slide your one side of that loop in there. Okay, see so your chain's in there. Grab hold of that loop and then just wrap around. And you don't actually have to do this. You could, if you want, just put a clasp and a, a jump ring on right now or a clasp and a clasp tag and be done with it. But I like to just sort of dress it up a little bit more. So I just have these little um, three millimeter garnet, uh, plastic garnet rounds and I'm just going to add one of those on and then that will be how I'm going to add my clasp so I'm just going to slide my clasp right on right on there like that I mean this will give you a, a, even a stronger hold than just uh, a jump ring and that's why I like to do it so I'm going to just close that up and then trim it And then the other side, you're just going to do the exact same thing, but you're just going to um, just make a loop. And I'll show you how to do that. Because sometimes you don't have a, a, a jump ring that's closed or you don't have a, um, uh, a tag, a clasp tag. So. This is an alternative way to do it. And again, it's a really sturdy, stable closure. So 90 degree angle. Now the only difference I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap it around once. And then I'm just going to grab hold of that circle and I'm just going to go right around twice. Okay, so if you see, there's two circles. Now this is just going to make it easier for you to grab hold of the clasp and it's also going to give it more stability. So hold it with your, your pliers and then just close that up, trim it back, and then you'll have a uh, clasp and just make sure there's no stray wires. And then it would just quite easily just you know, go in there and do that. Okay. The last thing you're going to do is just, you're going to wrap your briolet. And what I like to do is I like to take that circle and then instead of having it flat like that, just twist it so it's straight. Now you don't have to do that. You can keep it flat, um, but that's just something for me, just easier to attach the briolet so it's going to hang properly. So just going to do a standard briolet, put my wire through, all right, up on one side. And bring it in like that and then the other side and bring it in and cross for a second but then come back out and then just going to make a circle loop on the top like that slide that open loop onto that circle that we just that I just moved All right, 
So this is what we have. Okay. Grab hold of your circle. And then start to wrap. Grab those two wires together, capture them. So just kind of making it messy, not really worrying about, it's like a little bit of a rustic wrap, okay? And straighten it out, keep wrapping until my wire is gone, and then when I'm done, just go right up to the top again, wrap it a few times, and then just trim back. Then after your necklace is completed, you just want to make sure your brie is hanging the way you want it to hang. Um, you just adjust it if you need to, right? And if that means that you need to just kind of like that. And then with these, you can stretch them out or you can take your pliers and you can sort of curve them a little bit or curve them that way. Um, it's really, you know, dependent upon what you want to do with it. And if you don't like the way any of them are, are sort of... Um, laying you can you can move them to um, move them around a little bit don't move them too much of course because you know it will work hard in your wire this concludes the tutorial i hope you liked it if you did please like share subscribe and comment and thank you so much for all your comments suggestions and all those other things you guys do i do appreciate it and uh, if you have any suggestions for videos i am always open thanks so much and we'll see you next time bye for now